State leaders put into action new plans for statewide travel. A new Amtrak line is being revived. The route takes riders from Baton Rouge to New Orleans in a little more than an hour. Alexis Marini takes a look at what future riders can expect. From the Big Easy to Baton Rouge, there could soon be a travel solution right here in Baton Rouge for daily commuters. Today, the mayor and the governor hopped aboard to see what the fuss was all about. <laughs> governor John Bell Edwards and Mayor President Sharon Westenberg took a trip from the Crescent City to the state capitol. A $20 million settlement from the Road Home Program is helping put this train on the tracks. This journey was filled with excitement and anticipation. The plan is to start with one round trip a day. More rides will be added as ridership increases. Governor Edwards says the rail line route has been in the works since 2008. All eight years I've been governor, we've been working to reestablish rail service between Baton Rouge and New Orleans. Along the route, passengers can expect other stops on the way in Gonzales, Laplace, and Jefferson Parish. We're going to have a safe and reliable uh, passenger service uh, where people can actually uh, do work uh, while they're moving from one city to the other. It's going to be better for the environment. It's going to grow the economy. And mark your calendars because DOTD says 2027 is a good year to expect one of these right here in Baton Rouge. In Baton Rouge, Alexis Marini, WBRZ News 2. The last time Baton Rouge was served by passenger trains, Richard Nixon was in office. It was 1969 when the Southern Bell made its last trip through the capital region. The train was operated by Kansas City Southern Railway from 1940s to the last journey in November of 69. Connecting New Orleans to Kansas City with stops in Baton Rouge, Alexandria, and Shreveport along the way. It took about 22 hours to make the full trip at speeds of about 40 miles per hour.